In optical observations of the central galaxy of the Virgo galaxy cluster, the American astronomer Herb Curtis in 1918 noted a curious straight ray apparently connected with the nucleus by a thin line of matter. This measurement heralded the discovery of radio jets, the ejection of highly collimated relativistic plasma blobs from a central energy source. Forty years later, Caltech astronomer Martin Schmidt used the new 5-meter Palomar telescope to show that compact optical emission associated with the just previously discovered strange radio star 3C273 exhibited a remarkable 16% redshift of all of its spectral lines. If that redshift is due to the expansion of the universe, the distance to 3C273 must be 2.4 billion light years, and the optical luminosity of this galaxy is 1,000 times greater than the combined light of all stars in our Milky Way. This was the discovery of quasars, quasi-stellar radio sources. The 2020 Shaw Laureate in Astronomy, Professor Roger Blanford, has been one of the most important architects in constructing a detailed theoretical understanding of this quasar jet phenomenon. In this model, most galaxy nuclei contain spinning massive black holes with masses ranging from 1 million to 10 billion times the mass of the Sun. When matter in, front of in form of gas or stars is gravitationally attracted by these black holes, a rapidly rotating hot plasma accretion disk forms around the hole just outside its event horizon and probably pervaded by strong magnetic fields. The interaction of the spinning black hole, the magnetic field lines anchored in the black hole and the inner accretion disk and the extremely hot accretion disk plasma drive matter rapidly out along the rotation axis of hole and disk. Blanford originated key ideas allowing to understand the spectacular multi-scale acceleration and collimation of relativistic jets involving complex fluid dynamical and electrodynamical processes with Koenigel, Begelmann, Ostreicher and Ries. With Snyayek, Blanford proposed that magnetic cork torques could extract energy from the ergosphere of a spinning curved black hole and thus efficiently drive relativistic jets. This paper, as well as others, on the creation of fast winds from accretion disks around black holes with Payne, Begelmann and others, have in recent years become even more relevant and widely cited than when they originally were written. This is because high-resolution radio and infrared interferometric observations are just now beginning to directly probe the innermost accretion and jet formation zones around massive black holes, which Blanford analyzed in his prescient uh, theoretical work. The disk winds are also relevant for outflows from protostars. Another paper that is now more cited than ever deals with the fate of binary black holes, which arise as the outcome of mergers between galaxies, with Begelmann and Rees. With McKee, he showed how time variable line and continuum emission can be used to explore the spatial structure and broad line regions around active galactic nuclei. Blanford has made major contributions to an extremely broad spectrum of astrophysical problems, arguably placing him amongst the rare group of universal scientists. He has been one of the leaders in the modeling and interpretation of gravitational lensing. He has contributed to the interpretation of gamma ray data from the Fermi spacecraft and to the study of gravitational waves. Blanford's contributions began and often are rooted in analytic work, but in recent papers he 
and his collaborators have exploited increasingly detailed numerical simulations to capture the complex physics in the strong gravity environment of spinning and accreting black holes. Blanford's many profound contributions to theoretical astrophysics and his continuing originality and towering presence make him a worthy recipient of the 2020 Shaw Prize in Astronomy.